Hello my friends, welcome back to the next video in my Battlefield Clan Match series. Uh, you may recognize the lineup in this video if you watched the previous Clan Match. Uh, we played this uh, basically as, as soon as the last game ended. We would have all voted to play Cold Front and that's where this map takes place. And if you watched the last video, you'll know that we lost the last Clan Match and uh, you would think that we would have more sense than to play these guys again. Um, before I start this video, I'm going to say something really controversial to all of the PlayStation 2 fans out there. Um, a lot of you guys are going to hate what I have to say here, but um, I'm just going to, ahead and, going to go ahead and say it. And I want to show you guys the controller that I used. Um, let me just change the full screen here. So this is the controller that I used while I was playing um, these clan matches. And the reason I bought this controller, I looked all over the place for a controller that was similar to the Xbox controller or the Xbox 360 controller. And what I found was this, it was called uh, the Revolution, I don't know, Revolution controller. And what you could do with this was it had like modular um, buttons, so you could map it to whatever you want. So like, for example, it's kind of locked at the minute, but if I turn this, I can take out my um, analog stick and put it wherever I want. And the reason I did this was because on the PlayStation 2 controller, uh, the for me, the analogs are just far too close together. So I wanted something that was like the same layout as um, as the Xbox and uh, Xbox 360 controller, and basically every other controller actually. It's just more, I think, ergonomically um, uh, mapped better to be there. Um, because for me, the let me just set this down. Because the PlayStation Two controller, what I would find was, if I was like running to the side, like strafing to the side, and also looking. Let me think. So if I was if I was strafing to the right and then looking to the left, what would happen was my thumbs would be here, and they would like push into each other because I'd have to like push both analogs like this, and like your thumbs literally clash with each other. Um, and I know that that's probably going to annoy a lot of PlayStation 2 fans to be talking about their, well actually PlayStation 3 and 4 as well because they've never really changed that and I don't know why. Um, I like the PlayStation 2 as a console, I was a huge fan of it when it came out, I, um, I played gra uh, the Grand Theft Auto games on it. Uh, first I played um, Metal Gear Solid, it's notorious for having really awkward controls. but. When it, and I, I played it fine, I loved Metal Gear Solid 2 on the PlayStation 2 and um, lots of games, Burnout, all these kind of games. But when it came to first person shooters, I just could not get used to PlayStation controllers um, and the analogs, I always felt they were just too close together for my thumbs. And I don't think I ever properly got used to it. I don't think I was ever as good on the PlayStation 2 as I was on the Xbox because of the controller. And, that's, and that Revolution controller, although the analogs were like, in a better position I just still find it really hard to use it was like too it was really sluggish to use that controller it was it was never as responsive um probably as even as the actual because it was third party like it wasn't even as responsive as the PlayStation 2 but I just always find the um analogs really awkward and I know that that'll divide a lot of people but I just thought I'd have to say it, it had to be said so uh you can guess what's coming next this is um Cold Front, uh, a game, a level that is, you need to be good at ground on this level, like you can't rely on tactics, you can't rely on just driving to the flag quickly and getting a quick capture, you have, this is pure skill, like, um, which is why we, I don't know why we ever agreed to play this clan on this um, level, because we just got pretty badly trashed on Russian border and if we can't win on there I know we can't win on cold front so I don't know why we challenged them here maybe it was an agreement maybe we said uh, we'll play you cold front if uh, if you play us on uh, on border first so here we have it spawn as the assault which is probably the right thing to do on this map because it's all about ground and I'm going to die right away here yep I actually got slightly flash banged there by the SMG players and they're making a run for the back of our flag and wow, well, no one is on our flag right now. Uh, our whole team is like rushing their flag right now. One of them just got sniped. All right, and I'm looking, I'm, oh, just over that wall. I'm just looking for them, waiting for them to come to our flag and I see two of them have came to our flag. We've actually picked theirs up. 
but we've got sniped in the process. Oh, nice kill through the window. I don't even know how I actually seen that. I couldn't see it on my monitor. Ravel's coming out the window and he kills me. So Ravel's got our flag and he's running it back to our base. Oh nice. Razor has just machine gunned him. He must have he must have hung about there to get a little bit of health or something before he left. I like this. Oh, my capture cards have all messed up. I like this little building here, the camp. This is a. You get a really good um, look at the river in this part, and you can actually look down here as well. But it's kind of hard for them to see and kind of awkward. So this is a good defensive point to kind of be at. Like one person could be at the flag, and then one person could be just dominating here. Oh dear, our team's in the tank. See, he shouldn't... Yeah, that's kind of stupid because, like... It's basically an, unri an unwritten rule in this level not to use a tank. Oh. <laughs> that was biz that was weird. Kind of, like, dived in midair. At least I got the kill anyway. So, yeah, we sh And I... I haven't completely watched this whole video, but I do see at one point I jumped in the tank as well, which I couldn't quite understand. See there, this guy's in our... Um, we don't really know this guy, but he's in the tank uh, at their base killing them when he shouldn't be doing that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they then get in their tank or something to deal with that. Yeah, there you go. So then... Like I said, it's, I couldn't I couldn't actually work out why I got in our tank, but now I kind of know. And it's not the enemy team's fault. Um, they only got in the tank because we were in ours, so it, it, should, it should never have happened. And Okay, now I understand it. Now I understand why I got in the tank. All right. All right, there we go. So I was only really killing their tank, and then... Their tank driver has gone out and he's now probably on the flag. Now oh, there he is. Yeah, so he's killed me. Yeah, this this level should basically just be about um grind your grind game. It shouldn't really be about tanks. Because then you know if it is if oh nice kill. I'm actually doing decent in this. Like com I thought my gun game wouldn't be as good as this. Oh, I'm getting sniped. But, um, yeah, if, if if both teams just get in the tanks, then it just becomes who's the best in the tank, and that's not what anyone wants in a clan match. Uh, unless you're playing Conquest, which is a different story. Wow. Yeah, they've probably captured this. We've got one guy on, our fla on their flag, so... Hopefully, no, he shouldn't have picked that. That's like the worst thing to do. And now I'm jumping in the tank again. The oh yeah, so there, okay. I mu so I must have known they were there. Okay, I guess Razor probably told me they're in the tank. That's why I jumped in it there now. Um... And at this point, it's just like, well, yous were in yours. We, yes, we were in ours also, but like, um, I think probably what happened there was because me and Razor sometimes were like chatting to each other on the Xbox and stuff. So, um, I understand now why I got in the tank, and it was only because they were in theirs too. But we did technically start it, which we shouldn't have. But again, it's like a communication thing. Like we don't, we don't know this SBV guy, and he probably doesn't. He simply hasn't played many climaxes and he didn't know not to, so. Nice kill on Ravel. I actually surprised myself how I'm po probably even positive in this game. So I'm not doing as bad as I thought I would do on Cold Front. No, I'm there. Nice kill. That was like a really long range kill. Go 
Grenade, grenade. How did that grenade not kill him? It looked like a ring on his head. Alright, Razor picked him up anyway. Should be on the health crate. I don't know why I'm not taking health right now. Get in there and go on health. Come on. Oh, damn, that's like a, that was a pretty good kill for him to get an SMG kill from right across the map like that. Sniper, man. Nice. So I'm making a rush into their flag right now, but I'm assuming they've got a sniper on in their flag or something. Great work, soldier. Should be looking behind me. No, no, no. Ah, oh, he spawned. The guy I killed spawned back in and just got me. See, ideally, you, I should have waited until another uh, one of my teammates was up with me before picking the flag up there instead of just trying to run it on my own. And right now I should actually be on our flag defend them because there doesn't seem to be anyone back there and we're kind of just leaving it open which is a bit silly but I think I'm, kind of, I'm trying to cover the map from this building instead of over at the flag. I'm actually not doing a too bad a job of either, like kind of trying to keep the middle ground clear. I'm now going to try and support Razor. No! Ah... Uh, Yeah, this guy's probably gonna kill Razor. Yeah, he got him. Damn it. Okay, they're now making a push on our flag. Way out of bounds. I don't know if I'm going to try and go and get Ravel or not. Nice kill on Ravel. Oh, there's a guy coming down into the ravine. Oh, he got away. So I'll probably head for him. Could be up in the building, actually. Yeah, he's in the building. Flash banged. Oh, I couldn't see where he was. They're kind of. They're just kind of like. Oh, nice. No, I. That spawn shield and everything there. SMG is actually a lot quicker to kill people as well. Like it's. I don't know why. This is the bit I watched and I jumped in the tank here. I don't know why I did this. I really shouldn't have done this. I think I jump out pretty quickly though. Oh, that's why I jump out because I'm getting lasers. Sniper, damn it. Yeah, I shouldn't have. I don't know why I jumped. There was no excuse for getting in the tank at that point. It was just stupid. Someone's about to pick up the flag. Go 
Kill for Omar. No, why do I keep getting this tank? Switched his uh, C4, but he must have threw it too far or something. snipers the thing about the snipers if you, if you can panic them though and then just to make them miss that first shot they're pretty much wow that was a pretty good kill actually I went to die on the end there okay let me see I need to open up the next match for some reason I recorded these in like, each round I recorded, I didn't do this later on, I just recorded the whole thing at the end. Yeah, if you can, if you can panic a sniper to miss their first shot, they're pretty easy to kill. Um, Unless they know how to quick snipe, but I don't see Ravel or um, Mercs actually quick sniping in any of their any of the times I watch them. But and I don't think I was good enough at the game at this stage to actually pull off quick snipes and stuff. Like I was still getting used to the the controller and stuff, so I don't think I was like a really good sniper at this point or anything. I don't like the um, Chinese assault rifle at all. I think the European one's so much. I don't know, like the the stats are exactly the same, and it's supposed to take the same amount of kills. So I don't know if it's like psychological or what, but it must be. Oh, I got a return in time, and I killed him anyway. But if uh, Love You had killed me there, it would have been. Very nasty. Sniper. Where'd that come from? Oh, he's around the back. Nice. I'm actually not doing too bad for kills here. Like I'm thought I'd be doing a lot worse. I'm actually top of my team. Can't get a capture though because I kind of oh damn it! See there, see they're using the tanks now. So this is I'll jump in the tank right now because they've jumped in theirs. Yeah, he didn't have the sense to um to blow up our tank. that to my advantage they to be fair like I know there's a no tank rule but in my defense they used it first and so if they're gonna come up in our base and like come up with a tank and pick up the flag then I think we're well within our right to defend ourselves with our tank um, you know in that case in this round if you just took this round alone and ignored the last round they were first to use the tank so and they were using it to try and capture a flag too, so. Like, I don't think, in that last round I was um, overly aggressive with the tank, like I wasn't like rolling up on them trying to steal flags and stuff, so. 
but still, there's no there's no excuse for using it, I don't think. <laughs> Unless you're defending yourself. I guess, like, when you're watching this, like, you may be wondering, and I'm kind of wondering why I'm not just, like, rushing their flag. But I think I've learned my lesson from the last time, and I'm not just, like, rushing all the time. Like, I know we need to stay back. Wow. Oh, this is the worst time. I, why I'm pushing up at this point, I don't know. That was, like, the stupidest thing to do. So this, that probably cost us the game because we all just died and they're right in the river. Ah, oh, Razor's dead, we've got no hope. Ah, oh, they've got that flag, there's just no doubt. He's right on the other side of the map. I couldn't have picked a worse time to try and rush the flag, to try and hit their flag. Should have stayed by because our whole team was dead. And now I'm getting in the tank, are you serious? Oh, unless they're... They're not... Are they in theirs? Yeah, they... So they're in theirs, okay, so I'm... I think I'm getting tips from Razor whenever I'm doing this, because I seem to always know when they're in their tank, and I'm just trying to stop them from getting in theirs. Yeah, they'll just now, they've, they're like a flag up, um, they'll just defend now, probably for... Yeah, they're all over their flag right now. They're just going to try and make it as hard as possible. Oh, nice, who's this guy? They'll probably like keep two guys back just on their flag the whole time for the rest of the game make it hard, just too hard for us to capture. Damn it. Looked like I was behind the building when I died there. Yeah, I was. Look at my camera. I don't know how he killed me if I was behind the building. Ah, oh, wow. So, yeah, that's great. That's like the golden rule in clan matches. Like, never quit, no matter how bad the clan's performing like you should never leave so I, I understand now why uh, he never played with us again oh, damn. so like there's some clan matches you'll watch later on where like we're maybe about to lose or about to draw or the game's about to end and we get like a last minute flag capture but cold front's really not that kind of level like if you're down the way we are right now we'll probably especially now that we've lost a player and um, that's probably how the game's going to end because it's not the kind of game or the map that you can like capture a quick flag because there's no fast movers um, you can't just quickly drive down the car, pick up the flag and drive back like a, a really cool last minute capture, which does happen in like Nomad Souls or... Whoa. Guy below, guy below. Oh, that was nearly really nice. Um, he did well to snipe me actually through that. But um, yeah, you'll just not see that in this... Uh, you'll not see us um, getting a, a real last minute capture on cold front because you have to like slowly walk the game back and then just say we got raped. Uh, which is um, funny he should say that in the news um, over, I don't know if it's in America, but in the news this week, Microsoft announced what is and what isn't um, harassment in 
like a, a hazing online or whatever and that is harassment <laughs> you're not allowed to say that anymore you can only say like uh, I totally destroyed you dude instead of I totally raped you dude but this was 2012 this was played so the enemy has taken our oh, we're just getting destroyed now and like I don't know for me like no matter how badly I'm getting beat unless the, the other team's like cheating or something I'll try not to ever quit like I'm not saying I've never done it but like it's really important that even when you're losing to stick together as a team and just like take the loss graciously rather than just like quitting out or I used to hate in clan matches what would happen is whenever um whenever your team would start losing what you would get was like sore losers on your team that would start voting to kick uh, your own teammates and uh, I used to hate players like that because um, you should always like you should always like even if you're losing you should always be a, a group and learn from it like don't just like you're not always going to win every single match learn what happened what went wrong who played well in what position like what could you do to change it uh, maybe we should have more people on defense if we're losing because like in the end of the day you're losing because you uh, they scored more flags than you so then put more people on defense next time and if uh, if you can't capture a flag because there's too many people on defense then I don't come up with a new strategy I don't know so the problem with um, some clans in this game is they just they expected because they had like lots of good players in in the clan they just expected it to all, that them to always win and never get a loss but like communication's a big thing like maybe if we started this map and we actually messaged um SBV and told them like for example we just said like don't get in the tank under any circumstances uh stay on the flag don't move away from the flag do not be sniper unless you're a really good sniper because when you think about like if you're going to pick the sniper kit in this map uh, you're playing against Ravel and uh, that Mercs guy is a pretty good sniper too so like unless you're as good a sniper oh Jesus <laughs> after me talking about it, look what I do like unless you're as good a sniper as them then just don't pick it and I'm partly just picking a sniper at the end here is just to give GPS's to my squad because um, it really helps them to get a couple of last minute kills. Like it, it boosts morale a little bit if um, if your players can get a couple of kills on the enemy team. Even if you don't score or capture, as long as you get a couple of kills. There's a sniper on the top of the stairs. Why don't I see him? Nice. Because I got Ravel at least. I think Chinatown's around here somewhere. Mercs. Oh, I was looking at my map and he shot me. Okay, so that's it. That's how it ends. Um, MOH um, got two wins against us now. But if anything, that just makes me more determined to try and um, play them again. I always wanted to try and play Ravel again just to, um, as payback for, for beating us then. But like, once we get our proper like A team back online, so... There you have it, there was the next clan match. Um, we play this clan, I think, one more time. Um, I think on the same night, but I'll have to check through the footage. So the next map is going to be against Ravel again, I believe. So um, thanks, guys, for watching. And uh, please remember to check out. Um, I've got lots of other Battlefield videos, and uh, there should be some more clan matches and stuff coming pretty soon. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.